Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to November. You know what that means. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. This month, I'm gonna do a row of sides that before grandma gets hit by a reindeer, we're gonna hit her with a turkey. And then we're gonna show her how to make non-traditional, but traditional Thanksgiving sides that will knock her socks off. What do you say we get started on the first one? Today, I'm gonna do an artichoke pancake. It's very similar to a potato pancake, except I'm gonna use artichokes. I bought some quartered canned artichokes. This is the only time when you can use canned artichokes and it's, it's okay. We're gonna chop these up. We're gonna mix them with an egg. We're gonna put a little shallot and garlic into it. Hold it together with a little bit of flour. And then we're gonna make these beautiful pancakes. Top it off with a basil ricotta. I'm gonna show you right now. First, we take our handy dandy little Cuisinart. We're gonna take our artichokes and put them in there. We're gonna take our shallots and garlic and put them into our bowl where the artichokes are gonna end up. I have one egg that's gonna hold this all together. Now, we're gonna give our artichokes a rough chop. We don't want them too smooth because you wanna know that the artichokes, we want some texture in there. So we give it a little pulse, 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 pulse. That way it looks like we have artichokes in there. Nice. We're gonna put our handy dandy trusty glove on and pour those into the bowl. We season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Not too much salt because the artichokes are in a can and they have salt in them. We're gonna mix this all up with the egg and then we're just gonna tighten it up with a little bit of flour. Add it a little bit at a time. You can always add more, you can't take it out. Now, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a pancake. You know what's good about these artichoke pancakes? These are something you can make ahead of time. You can make little ones, you can make big ones, but you can make a whole bunch of them and then have them sitting. And then when you're ready to reheat them right before dinner, just pop them in the oven and they'll crisp up nice. First, we're gonna get our pan hot, put some oil in it, and turn it down because we don't want to burn them. And I'm gonna just spoon into the oil and then press it down. Not too flat, we want some thick, we want some density. We want some crunch, but we also want some, we want a, a balance of textures. So we're gonna make a whole couple of these. Just push it down, they don't have to be perfectly round. Now we just let them get them brown on one side. The best way to do these, I find, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna serve them right away, put them in the hot pan, move them around a little bit, and then just pop them in the oven. That way it'll get a chance for the egg and the flour to cook while the bottom of them get brown at the same time. So, we're in the oven for about four minutes. Still haven't flipped them. Pull them out. See, they got a nice little uh, cakey glaze over them. Now we're just gonna give them a little flip. Look at that. Now we're gonna brown the other side. We give that a low heat to medium heat for about five more minutes so that the other side looks like this. That way we got that nice, that nice golden brown crust and then the inside is, is soft and moist and juicy. And also, you wanna use something with slots in it. That way you leave the oil in the pan. You don't have these greasy pancakes. Check them out. So now we have these nice golden, delicious artichoke pancakes. We're gonna make the move to the plate. We give them a little, sop up some of the oil there. And then I have made a little bit of this uh, basil ricotta. It takes just some plain ricotta cheese, a little bit of salt, and add a little basil to it. We're gonna use those as our 
sour cream on a, on a potato pancake, if you will. Little bit of this, little bit of this, little bit of this. And then finished it with some nice baby greens. Today I'm featuring pea tendrils. These are the top of a, of a sugar snap pea. Sort of a pea sprout, pea tendrils. And there you have it. Side dish number one, artichoke pancakes with a basil ricotta. Happy Thanksgiving, almost.